Hey, what's going on guys? I want to talk to you about something today that has been bothering me for a while and it has to do with Facebook and we're going to dive right into that and this issue can affect you whether you run a, f a business page on Facebook or not. Obviously I have Scott Herman Fitness as my Facebook page. I've had that page now for about nine or ten years, okay? And things have changed a lot over that period of time and not just on Facebook but in society in general. Like we live in such a politically correct society that you can't say anything negative to anyone without just getting lashed at and being called the bad guy. So much so guys, like one of the things that I find the funniest on my YouTube channel or Facebook page is if someone leaves a comment talking bad to me or mouthing off to me or saying insulting things to me or whatever, if I respond, I'm the bad guy. It's like you can't even defend yourself anymore. And it takes a lot to really get under my skin. And, and even when I was a kid, like I was actually bullied a lot as a kid. And I think this is why I have such a, a hardcore stance against bullying and why I'm really pissed with Facebook right now. Because I see it as a form of them cyberbullying me. And again, I'll get to that in a second. But like, even when I was a kid, I remember like when I first moved to, the, to this town that I live in now, I got picked on every single day and it wasn't until I turned around and I knocked this kid's teeth into the back of his throat that he finally left me alone. And people say violence is bad and you shouldn't advocate fighting and you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Um, I've read plenty of news articles in the paper or online of kids that have hung themselves or killed themselves because they were cyber bullied, okay? So I'd rather have someone punch me in the face than talk shit about me behind my back and I can't see who's doing it. But that's just me, but that's not the topic of this video. Topic of this video is basically now because we live in such a politically correct society where you can't say bad things or show bad Im or or what's considered bad imagery, we're all now being affected. And for those of you watching, you're probably like, what, what exactly were you trying to show, Scott? What kind of bad imagery were you trying to show? I wasn't showing any bad Im imagery. I was trying to boost a post on Facebook that I did for a video I just released on how to build bigger arms. And for those of you who have seen the video, you saw the thumbnail. The thumbnail is literally a photo of me doing this and then I took one, I took the photo, I doubled it, and on one side I made my arm like half the size for fun, drew a circle, and then drew a line, and it literally says bigger arms on the photo. And so I'm boosting the post on Facebook, and first of all, this is the main reason why I'm, I'm so irritated about this. Facebook has transformed so much over the last few years in terms of how your posts are seen that it's just asinine to think that I have to do all these little tips and tricks just so that the people who actually like my page see my posts. Back in the day when you worked hard to build a Facebook page and you did a post on it, everyone who liked your page saw your post. Nowadays, the only time Facebook will allow a post to be seen by maybe 5% of your audience, it still doesn't go to everybody, by maybe 5% of your audience, is if the post is native with no links. Even if you tag somebody or another fan page in a post, Facebook destroys your reach. I have done tests with this. I have literally posted a photo, like, like a photo I knew would get a lot of, like a, a photo of me looking like shredded, right? I've posted a photo like that. I know a photo like that is going to get between 1,000 and 3,000 likes on my page. Tons of comments, tons of shares, right? Posted the photo and I tagged like an article on my website. Photo got maybe 99 likes. Then I waited like six hours, posted the same photo, and then I ended up getting like 2,500 likes. Same photo, tons of comments, tons of shares. Because as soon as you post a link that goes outside of Facebook, they destroy your reach. And I think that's wrong because I built this page, it's my page. The only reason why Facebook is in business is because of people like us actually use it, but it's like now we've given them so much power that they can just really kind of screw us over. And so anyways, what the hell is that? Any <laughs> it's Facebook attacking me in the form of a bee while I'm doing this video. <laughs> but anyways, so I did this post and then I boosted it, right? So I, I barely ever have time, uh, I have a hard time getting my post approved, but now because I put a link in the post, the only way that post is going to get any kind of reach is if I put money behind it, which I think is just absolute bullshit that Facebook can do that to us. It's like, why can't my post organically do well and then if I want to make it even more seen, I put money behind it. It's like, no, 
Oh, you want to link to your own site utilizing a page that you built and you directed traffic to? Well, guess what? The only way people are going to see that is if you pay for it. So I put the boost on and then Facebook did not approve my post. And so I know the policies, I know the guidelines. And for those of you guys who are on my Facebook page, it's like 99% positivity on there. Like there's really nothing bad on there. Even the comments are good. And so they wrote back to me and then I said, well, they said, hey, your thing's disapproved. And I said, um, hey guys, I don't see why this ad was disapproved. There is no foul language. Thanks. Like it literally was a one line sentence of, do you want to have bigger arms or something like that? And then the, the photo from the article. And so they sent back to me, hey Scott, thanks for writing in. Your ad wasn't approved because the image being used in the ad doesn't comply with our health and fitness policy. And I said, oh really? And then they said, ads with before and after images related to weight loss. And this is the key guys, related to weight loss are not allowed as such ads are sensitive in nature and lead to, a, lead to high negative user sentiment. We recommend focusing on the product in a positive manner. What does this even mean guys? This is the most stupid thing I have ever seen in my life. Like gives high negative user sentiment. Posts related to weight loss are not allowed. And so you, if you lost 600 pounds and you wanted to share your story with people, basically Facebook is saying that if you posted a before and after photo, they are not going to allow you to boost that to share your story. And they said that that gives a high negative user sentiment. This is absolutely ridiculous. And then they said, you can create your post with these guidelines and try boost again, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I replied, I said, guys, there are already comments and shares on this post. It has nothing to do with weight loss. In fact, it is all about muscle gain to build bigger arms. And I said, I have close to 500,000 page likes, 99% positive comments, because that's the kind of community I run. If you guys are going to block an ad from me, I would appreciate it if you actually took a look at what I'm posting. And then I did quotation marks, ads with before and after images related to weight loss are not allowed as such ads are sensitive in nature. And then I said, in no shape or form does my ad say anything about weight loss, the images of my body, thanks. And then they responded, and this is, what's pissed, this is what pissed me off. This is where I feel like I'm being cyber bullied by Facebook because they're such dicks, guys. They're like, hey, Scott, thanks for writing back. Sorry for the inconvenience, but our say on this matter remains unchanged. However, I appreciate your feedback and have passed it to our team. We'll update you if there's any progress on this. So then I replied, I said, what do you mean your say is unchanged? I have proven you wrong. This is ridiculous. Why do you deem it necessary to give me a hard time over something so tri trivial? My post has nothing to do with weight loss. You told me it was not approved because of your stance on weight loss. I have proven it has nothing to do with weight loss. So help me to understand exactly why you were giving me a hard time. And so they didn't respond. And then I responded again and I said, you said this post has, was blocked because of weight loss, whatever. Tell me exactly what it has to do with weight loss. And they continued to not respond to me. And so me being the persistent kind of person that I am, I literally kept reposting the ad and reposting the ad. And I was sending them like messages in all caps, approve my ad, approve my ad. Because at this point, it's a, it, 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 like, you know, most people would be like, ah, whatever, I'll change my ad and I'll do something else. For me personally, I do not like being told that I can't do something when I know I have every right to do so and that I am in the right when doing it. So at this point in time, it comes down to like the mat, like the principle of the matter is I should be allowed to do this post. Who the hell are you to tell me that I can't? You're just some employee, you know, one of like hundreds of thousands of people that just look at these things, clearly not doing your job correctly, not taking a look at the post, not seeing the video, not reading the article to see what it's about. And you're just going to say the matter is closed because why? Because you have the power because you're on that end. So it actually got to a point to where one of my guys that helps me with my marketing texted me and he's like, what are you doing? This ad keeps popping up as being blocked. I'm like, well, I'm going to keep approving it and approving it and approving it. And I don't know, maybe I wore him down because after like the 30th time that I resubmitted the ad to be approved, it finally went through. And, it, it, and it's so important to have 
small wins like this, guys, because you can't go through life no matter what you do when you know that you're in the right and you're trying to get things done and things like this happen, you can't just give up and be like, oh, well, it's not going to work. you got to just keep being persistent and push through it. And for me, this politically correct society that we live in where, especially when it comes to fitness, like you can't say someone's fat, but you can call someone skinny. Well, to me, being called skinny is just as bad as a fat person being called fat. Like it's all about how you take it in. These are characteristics. Like if I say, hey, you got some excess fat on you, I'm not calling you fat and fat shaming you. I'm just acknowledging a characteristic of your body. Just like if I said, hey, you look pretty muscular. You're going to get pissed because I, I talked about a characteristic of your body? No, you're not. But people are so sensitive that that's why Facebook now has this policy. Like I can understand, you know, maybe posting something that's detrimental towards being overweight and insulting, you know, someone if they're overweight or like maybe I'm do maybe like you did a video 10 reasons why overweight fat obese people suck at life. Yeah, Facebook, you know, maybe you can block that ad. But to say that you would actually even block an ad of someone sharing their story and showing their before and after photo I just think is absolutely ridiculous, but at the end of the day, whose fault is it? Well, in America, it's our fault because we are trying to be so politically correct about everything that you're not allowed to hurt anybody's feelings anymore and rules like this just happen to happen. So the moral of this video is, guys, is number one, as you can probably tell, I don't like being told I can't do things in a way that where I feel like I'm being bullied into submission because that's basically what they're trying to do. So I fight back and I'm always going to fight back. And to be honest with you, this is the number one reason why I have started to take my community from Facebook and I've brought the majority of them over to my website. My website, MuscularStrength.com, is literally like the Facebook version, I mean, uh, the, the fitness version of Facebook. You make a profile, you have a board where you can write things, you can engage with friends, and then I added all these other things like forums, articles, and recipes. Everything has a comment section. I see all those comments, your friends see those comments. Literally, if you're into fitness and you hate Facebook, you should just make a free profile on my website because you're gonna get the best of both, both worlds. People that are into fitness and amazing fitness content. So if you haven't been there yet, make sure you check it out and hopefully my app will be dropping version 2.0, which will be available for iPhone and Android, will be coming out hopefully this month. Fingers crossed, guys, but you know, Facebook really gave me the fuel about two or three years ago because I've noticed a lot of issues like this happening and with them kind of pulling my, my own post or you know destroying my reach. That was the number one reason why I actually created my site. Now we got about 120,000 members and everyone's happy. So Facebook, thank you for the help. All right guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you all have a great day. If you enjoyed the video and like my rants, be sure to click that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.